Hi, I'm Lucy Johnston. I'm curator on behalf of Goodwood of Future Lab, which is the building that you can see behind me. It's crammed down full of future transport and travel technologies, ideas, innovations, and some fantastic pioneers that we've brought together scouring the globe. So let's go inside. We're pretty crowded today. We've been queuing out the door since about 8 o'clock this morning, which is fantastic. Uh, it's a really great buzz in here. Uh, the main attraction, we must admit, is this absolutely stunning car in the centre of the space. It's a robo car. It's been created by a company called Robo Race. Robo Race is the first electric driverless race car series. Each team will be presented with an identical robo car. You can see here there is no seat. So the idea is that the challenge becomes how you interact with your artificial intelligence driver. So it's, it's a race of wits and intelligence, uh, not manual driving. And then we come to Hyperloop One. It's a new concept for super fast ground transportation for people and cargo. They're testing at the moment and it'll be live shipping cargo by 2020 and people by 2021. Here we are at Thrust UAV and PCS Adventures. They're here at Goodwood for the very first time. Thrust UAV manufacture the Riot Pro. It's one of the world's best racing drones. So we invited them over to come and race at Goodwood. who are presenting the future of 3D printing. We have a couple of their most advanced multi-material 3D printers who are working live during the show. They are recreating the classic Goodwood Trophy. The trophy has been designed by a fantastic sculptor called Nick Irving who collaborates a lot with Stratasys, pushing the technologies and showing what 3D printing can do. And here behind me is the final trophy that's been created. It's about 18 hours of printing in the multi-material machine that you see over to my right. And this exact trophy will be presented by Lord March on Sunday afternoon to the fastest driver on the hill climb. Here on my right is Sony, who are presenting their new Gran Turismo Sport Simulator. And here behind me is Pal-V. This is the first commercially available flying car. They've been testing since 2012 with the Pal-V prototype on my right. And on my left is the Pal-V-1. This is the commercially available car. They are on the production line imminently. They're taking pre-orders and this car will be delivered to its first lucky owners by the end of 2018. So you'll see above me is the model of Solar Impulse 2. This is a model of the plane that Bertrand Picard and his co-pilot flew around the world. It has a wingspan in reality wider than a jumbo jet, so it really is a spectacular sight when you see it in the sky. And the entire top of that wingspan is covered in at least 17,000 solar cells which have powered it around the world. We're passing Boom. It's a US company who are developing a new concept called supersonic travel. So bringing back the age of Concorde, but making it more affordable for mass transportation. You can see here the model. They're in testing at the moment and expect to be in the skies testing 2018. And here behind me is Pop-Up. It's a new urban transportation system that's being developed as a collaboration between Ital Design and Airbus. It's looking at a future congestion busting solution, uh, a little like Uber, where you'll be, you'll be able to call in this two-person pod to transport you around town on special highways. So here we are inside Pop-Up. Please we're tell me when you're oh. ready to start your trip. And our driver is talking to us, so we're ready to start. Um, this is the two-person capsule. This is our artificial intelligence driver who will be talking to us during the trip. Uh, we're seeing maps of the city that we're driving across, we're seeing travel information, we're seeing recommendations and options uh, to select to find out more about the area that you're in and to communicate with other pods and friends in other pods. The pod is either transported on a four-wheel 
skate below or a quadcopter above. So depending on what the artificial intelligence driver of your pod decides is the most optimized route through town, the pod will communicate with either the, st the skate or the quadcopter to either drive you or fly you around town to your destination in record time.